here's the thing, you know, when people get, I, I notice about, because I, I take care of my uncle, he's, he's older. When you get old, that's all you do, you take pills. And then we go, oh, we got these amazing pills. We have new medicine. What good are all these pills when everything you take has a side effect that's as bad as whatever you took it for in the first place? Now, listen to what happened to me. This is an amazing story. It started out so innocently. I made myself a grilled cheese sandwich. Why? That's the only thing I know how to cook. <laughs> so I was still hungry. All I could do was make two more what? Grilled cheese sandwiches. Now, here's something I didn't know. When you eat a lot of cheese, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Bind you <laughs> means the cheese forms like a roadblock and <laughs> ba -ba 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 traffic is going to be tied up for quite some time. <laughs> quite some time. After three days, I wanted to get a C-section. Cut me open. <laughs> I felt something kick. I can't wait another day. Just cut me open. Let it out. Let it out. So I had to go down to the drugstore. I said, I need something to get the traffic flowing. He gives me this stuff called x -lax. By the time I got home, I was so miserable, I didn't bother to read the directions. And when I see a chocolate bar, I can't help myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A half hour later, ooh, rush hour. I got to go back to the drugstore. This time, I'm pinching my butt cheeks together like it's my first night in federal prison. I can't stop going. I heard you, this could give you hemorrhoids. I don't want to get hemorrhoids. He gives me this stuff called Preparation H that somehow is going to prepare me for the hemorrhoids. <laughs> I must have had an allergic reaction because when I put it on, I get an itchy red rash all over my backside. Now I got to go back to the drugstore and I'm getting concerned because I got to be running out of products on the ass aisle. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. I got a rash. I need, he gives me an antibiotic. Now I take the pills home. By that time, the itching was driving me crazy. So before I could take the pills, I put on some Vaseline intensive care lotion on the rash, which made my hand slippery. So I go to get the glass of water to take the pills. The glass slipped out, shattered. I could have broken glass in my eye. Quick, give me the Visine. I need to rinse out my eye just in case. Give me the Visine. I put my head back too fast, and I got dizzy. Whoa, motion sickness. Give me a Dramamine. I think I have motion sickness. I took the Dramamine. All that did was make me tired. So I made a large cup of coffee, which I shouldn't do because coffee makes me very nervous, and I heard anxiety could lead to hair loss. I panicked. I went back to the drugstore. Hurry up. Give me the Propecia. I don't want to lose my hair. He says, Propecia can cause impotence. Well, give me the Viagra while I'm here. Save me a trip. <laughs> he says, Viagra can cause heart problems. I said, I'm going to get a heart attack. Not if you take these garlic pills. <laughs> They'll help to lower your cholesterol. I take the garlic pills. They make my breath taste like shit. I said, you gave me bad breath. What good are they? He says, you need to take an Altoid. It's a curiously strong breath mint. I took the Altoid. I found out they don't make your breath smell better. They're so strong, you can't breathe anymore. <laughs> So I got the nasal spray inhaler to help me breathe. But I saw on TV, those things can be addictive. I said, I'm not spending two weeks in a nasal spray halfway house. Fuck that. <laughs> I go outside to smoke a cigarette because I was so upset. Now I shouldn't be smoking. So I had to put the nicotine patch on to quit the cigarettes. Quitting cigarettes made me grouchy. So I went to the medicine cabinet to get a Prozac to cheer up. And by mistake, I got one of the old girlfriend's birth control pills. And a little while later, I had my first period. I took a Midol, but I was still bloated and, and retaining water. <laughs> so I had to take a diuretic to flush the fluid out of my system. It made me pee so much, I got something called a urinary tract infection. Back to the medicine cabinet. <laughs> All I got is a bottle of Vicks Night Cold, nighttime cold and flu relief. I said, the sun's still out. What the hell do I do now? <laughs> this is what I did. I took the two nodos. I washed them down with the NyQuil. I said, I'll let the two of them figure out what time it is. <laughs> Leave me out of it. All that did was give me a headache. So I took two aspirin and said, this can cause stomach irritation. I didn't spend the whole day to end up with a stomach ache. I took two, two tagamate and said, use of this product can cause depression. I said, you're about three hours late. <laughs> so I said, I don't want to be depressed. I look around the house. There's nothing left to take in the house. I said, I don't want to be depressed. What am I going to do? I haven't done this for a while. I took a hit off a joint. I figured it would help me relax. All it did was give me the munchies. <laughs> so I go in the kitchen to make something to eat. All I had was bread and cheese. I said, I'm not starting that shit again. <laughs> so, thank you.